Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and today I'm going to be updating you guys on some new information regarding the Patch 5.2 War for Iocath update. Now as the date approaches, for those of you who might not know, the release date is April 11th which will fall on a Tuesday and as that day approaches, Bioware is slowly giving us more information regarding what exactly is included in the new update. Uh, we've seen some very interesting data mining like the new Stronghold which might be coming. Uh, obviously I did a, re um, a video quite a while ago but it outlines some of the new storyline stuff right you know we're going to be fighting on iocath we'll have once again a chance to ally ourselves with either the imperials or the republics we get a quinn and a lara coming back as companions or possible companions depending on which side you choose I think they're also the devs are also planning a live stream pretty soon which will give us some of the better information and they said they're actually going to include some gameplay and I, I am anticipating some uh, a lot of new stuff actually to be included here so that's going to be very exciting but what we know now is uh, that there will be a new galaxy map not sure why that necessitates a big announcement maybe they're changing something up who knows they also said that pvp on iocath is going to be a big topic so we don't know exactly in what form that is coming whether that's going to be open world pvp a new pvp map or maybe a new Warzone mode, who knows? Uh, apparently it was data mined that, we, you know, they were experimenting with like some Walker stuff because we've been able to play in Walkers and there's some mechanics associated with that during the chapters, but who knows, they might even be incorporating that into PvP. So there is some exciting stuff on the menu. Obviously there's a new daily area. Um, today we'll be talking about access to Iocath, so who exactly gets to play this new expansion. And then finally, they also said we're going to talk about choosing a faction. What does that mean for your character and for your story? Because I know a lot of people have been anticipating a return to the old conflict of Imperial versus Republic because people, and myself as well, are getting a little bit sick of the whole Zakul storyline and us being the Emperor of our own faction. I kind of liked being an Imperial and I kind of hope they would do a return to that with the story. But anyways, going on into the major question of this video, Video and some of the new information that we have been given that is regarding who gets to access this new content. Interestingly enough, you do not have to be a subscriber to access this new content. The only requirement is that you have to be level 70, which means you have to have subscribed at least once after the release of Kotet. So if you subscribe, then you are able to access level 70, at which point you will also be able to access the new story content. You'll be able to play through the new daily area, do the dailies, uh, advance your character story, make those awesome choices that, you'll, uh, that will apparently impact um, your story, but you do not have to be a subscriber. You could be a f preferred player. The other thing though is you won't be able to access the new operation content. That All that stuff will still remain restricted and if we do get some new PvP stuff, you'll have to be a subscriber to access that. So those restrictions will remain the same. However, uh, you will be able to play through the new story at least. Now I know this next point was a little bit of a concern to a lot of people, but you do not have to have completed COD Fee or Kotet. Because a lot of people were wondering, you know, do we have to have played through that story to get to Iocath? But they did want to make it accessible to everyone, because I know not everyone goes and plays through the entire story on all their alts, but they might want to go and access Iocath on an alt that's never completed at Knights of the Fallen Empire or Knights of the Eternal Throne. So you do not need to do that. If you go ahead and access that story content, uh, your choices will kind of be already pre-made for you, so they'll be default choices. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but at the end of the day, at least you'll be able to play with your alts. Uh, the other thing though to keep in mind is it will contain story spoilers. So if you don't want to have the story spoiled for yourself, then you know play the COD Fiend Coted before you go ahead and attempt this new story content. However, playing the Iocat storyline will not affect your COD Fee or Coted progression. So basically, if you like access the new story con, it's not going to lock you out of doing any chapters, nor is it going to affect the choices you make or anything like that in the chapters you play. So you could ideally be playing, you know, halfway through Coffee or halfway through Kotet, then go play some of the Iocast storyline, then come back. It will be a really disjointed experience because you're experiencing two different storylines at two different parts of the timeline. However, you do have that option to do that if you choose. And finally, the way that we're going to be able to launch the new storyline is we're just going to go to our ship's mission terminal and the first mission will be called the Forgotten World, or that's what overall the mission is called. A very cool title nonetheless, and uh, yeah, it's just basic, you know, that's how we access Shadow of Revan and all that stuff, and that's how we're going to access this new Iocath storyline. So I'm really excited, and as I mentioned, Bioware is slowly giving us the new information, so I will keep you guys updated with these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys are really excited uh, for this new expansion. I know I am. Hope you guys have a good one and may the force be with you.